Imagine confronting the most daunting warriors history has ever known. Could you withstand their intimidating presence? Envision yourself in a face-off with a mighty Spartan, a cunning Mayan, a relentless Mongol, or a fearless Viking. These civilizations carved their legacy in history not only with their advanced combat techniques, but also through the sheer terror they evoked in adversaries. Feel your heartbeat race, adrenaline surge, as you lock eyes with these legendary fighters. From the Mayans to the Vikings, each tribe boasted leaders whose tales of valor and strategy resonate through time. Dive into the saga of these powerful warriors and discover what it means to confront true fear. The Mayan civilization, flourishing from approximately 2600 BC to 900 AD, was a mosaic of city-states sprawled across what is now southeastern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, and western parts of Honduras and El Salvador. This civilization, renowned for its intricate architecture, advanced astronomical understanding, and vibrant art, was equally formidable in warfare. Mayan warfare, far from being mere territorial skirmishes, was deeply rooted in their cosmology and religious beliefs. War was not only a means to gain land or resources, but also a ritual to appease their gods and maintain cosmic order. This spiritual dimension of warfare made Mayan warriors deeply committed and fearsome. The Mayan warrior equipped with weapons like the atlatl, a spear thrower, maquahidal, a wooden sword embedded with obsidian blades, and the bow and arrow was a formidable opponent. Protective gear included thick cotton armor and shields made from wood or animal hides. Mayan warfare tactics were diverse, ranging from open field battles to guerrilla-style ambushes in dense forests showcasing their adaptability and strategic prowess. One of the most notable aspects of Mayan warfare was the importance placed on capturing rather than killing enemies. Prisoners of war were often used for ritual sacrifice, a fate considered honorable by Mayans. This practice underlined the intertwining of war and religion, elevating their warriors to a status beyond mere soldiers. The city-states such as Tikal, Calakmul, and Palenque often engaged in wars with each other. These conflicts, sometimes fueled by rivalries or the desire to control trade routes, were chronicled in detailed hieroglyphs. The Bonampak murals, for instance, vividly depict such battles and offer insights into Mayan warfare's brutality and ceremonial aspects. The Mayans were feared not just for their martial skills, but for the fervor and religious zeal they brought to the battlefield. Their approach to warfare, deeply embedded in their cultural and religious fabric, made them one of the most formidable warriors of ancient Mesoamerica. Few can match the martial prowess and discipline of the Spartans. Hailing from the city-state of Sparta in ancient Greece, this warrior society was renowned for its austere lifestyle, rigorous training, and unparalleled bravery on the battlefield. Spartan society was singularly focused on producing the finest warriors. From a young age, Spartan boys were enrolled in the Agoge, a state-sponsored education and training program. This harsh regimen, starting as early as age seven, was designed to instill discipline, endurance, and combat skills. The Agog was more than just military training. It was a crucible that forged Spartan youth into warriors of exceptional skill and mental fortitude. Spartan military tactics were revolutionary for their time. The phalanx, a tight infantry formation, became a hallmark of Spartan warfare. In this formation, each warrior's shield protected not only himself, but also his comrade to the left. This unity and cohesion made the Spartan phalanx an almost impenetrable force in the heat of battle. The Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC remains the most emblematic example of Spartan valor. Despite being vastly outnumbered by the Persian army, a small force of Spartans, led by King Leonidas, held the pass for three days. This act of bravery and tactical acumen has become synonymous with the Spartan legacy. Spartan women also played a crucial role in maintaining this warrior culture. They were given a level of freedom and physical training uncommon in the ancient world, with the understanding that they would raise strong, healthy children. The saying, return with your shield or on it, attributed to Spartan mothers, underscores the societal emphasis on valor and honor over life itself. 
The Spartans were feared and respected not just for their physical prowess, but for their mental discipline, strategic thinking, and unwavering commitment to their city-state. The Mongols, originating from the steppes of Central Asia, etched their name into history as one of the most feared and successful warrior cultures ever known. Under the leadership of Genghis Khan and his successors, they established the largest contiguous land empire in history, stretching from Eastern Europe to the Sea of Japan, encompassing parts of Northern India, China, the Middle Eastern territories, and Russia. The Mongol military might lay in their extraordinary mobility and adaptability. They were primarily a cavalry force, with warriors skilled in horseback archery, a technique they mastered from a young age. This mobility allowed them to execute complex maneuvers and surprise attacks, leaving their adversaries continually off balance. The Mongols were adept at adapting their tactics to different enemies and terrains, whether it was the open plains of Central Asia or the mountainous regions of Afghanistan. Genghis Khan, the architect of the Mongol Empire, was not only a brilliant military strategist, but also an innovator in warfare. He reorganized the Mongol forces into a disciplined and efficient army, structured in units of tens, Arban, hundreds, Zun, thousands, Mingan, and ten thousands, Tumen. This structure allowed for flexibility and quick communication among the ranks. Psychological warfare was another aspect of the Mongol strategy. They often used fear as a weapon, spreading tales of their ruthlessness to intimidate enemies. This reputation, often exaggerated, sometimes led to the surrender of cities without a fight, thereby expanding their empire with minimal casualties. The Mongols' legacy in warfare also includes their impact on the regions they conquered. They facilitated trade and cultural exchanges along the Silk Road, inadvertently leading to a period of economic growth and cultural flourishing in the conquered lands. The Pax Mongolica, or Mongol peace, is a testament to their administrative prowess and tolerant governance, albeit one through initial violence and conquest. In conclusion, the Mongols were feared not just for their military skills, but also for their strategic acumen, adaptability, and ability to instill fear in their enemies. The Vikings, hailing from the Scandinavian regions of Norway, Denmark, and Sweden between the 8th and 11th centuries, were not only explorers and traders, but also some of the most feared warriors of their time. Their reputation as fierce raiders and skilled warriors is well documented in history and has become a defining part of their legacy. Viking warriors were known for their fearlessness and ferocity in battle. They were adept at using a variety of weapons, including swords, axes, spears, and bows. The Viking longship, with its speed, flexibility, and shallow draft, allowing navigation in both deep and shallow waters, was instrumental in their raiding expeditions. These ships were a symbol of their naval prowess and were key to their success as warriors, enabling them to strike quickly and unexpectedly. One of the most significant aspects of Viking warfare was their hit-and-run tactics. They used their mobility to their advantage, striking swiftly and retreating before a counterattack could be organized. This tactic spread terror and confusion among their enemies, often leading to easy victories. Viking society placed a high value on honor and bravery in battle. This cultural emphasis is evident in the sagas and eddas, which glorify the exploits of legendary warriors and heroes. The concept of Valhalla, where fallen warriors were believed to join the god Odin in an afterlife of eternal battle and glory, further motivated the Vikings to display bravery and prowess in combat. The Vikings are also known for their raids on monasteries, towns, and even cities across Europe. These raids were not just for plunder, but also a demonstration of their power and a means of gaining prestige back home. The raid on the Lindisfarne Monastery in 793 AD is often cited as the beginning of the Viking Age, a period marked by the expansion of Viking influence and settlement throughout Europe. The Vikings were feared as warriors, not only for their combat skills and daring naval expeditions, but also for their strategy and societal values that celebrated martial prowess. Their impact on European history is profound, leaving a legacy that extends far beyond their Scandinavian homeland. The Viking Age was a pivotal era that shaped the dynamics of medieval Europe and the path of its history.